Well, it's Friday and I'm back in the office after being in court this morning. Yes, I am back in court. Uh, we are operating at full capacity, just like we were uh, all through the, the COVID shutdown. I know it continues and during the shutdown, obviously courts weren't open, but now a lot of courts, with the exception of Philadelphia and jury trials, which I don't understand totally, uh, are, are, are open, they're hearing motions, even in New Jersey, there are uh, remote proceedings being taken place, but, but we, we are seeing clients in the office um, six days a week, we're, we're here ready to answer questions. I don't understand attorneys who have just shut down their offices and shut down their practices and just blame COVID. I, I, I just don't understand it. They continue to blame this pandemic and it's obvious that we're coming to the end of it and that it's, it's practically over and that these little hot spots um, are just not going anywhere. So I feel confident moving forward that uh, we will be just fine and, the, and these people continue to, to just Bring up, you know, bring, bring up the shutdown, I think, just have other issues. So with that said, it's the weekend, and while summer has come to an end, I know there's a couple days left, we are headed into fall, and one of the big issues that we see, regardless of the season, is traffic stops, and that's why this week, in my weekly email update, which I will link into this video, I talk about traffic stops and the importance of traffic stops and why most criminal cases begin with those police traffic stops. While there are some criminal cases that start with these long investigations by police or other government agencies, the majority of criminal cases, especially the ones that we handle, start with traffic stops. And that's why our law firm focuses so heavily on this issue, specifically what we can do before trial to exclude evidence, uh, exclude evidence through motions to suppress evidence and the constitutional standard. Also, we talk about a lot in my videos, my newsletters, my books, my blogs, warrantless searches, why they're constitutional, what standard police must meet to search a vehicle. Remember that warrantless searches are permissible in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. Police don't need a warrant. Unlike your home, they do need a warrant in most situations. Police can search a car if they have probable cause to believe that the car contains contraband or in some way the person is committing a crime, like a DWI, a drug possession, a gun possession, any of that is, is fair game with regards to a vehicle search. So if you have questions about vehicle searches, I encourage you to read my weekly blogs, check out the link that I will link into this video. It's my weekly update, it comes out every week. It's a great resource. The website, gambonewall.com, also a tremendous resource for you and your family. Our phone number, 215-755-9000 in Pennsylvania, 856-793-7429 in New Jersey, both numbers 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The weekend, as I stated on a number of occasions, is our busiest time for phone calls, and that's why we're available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So if you have questions, 215-755-9000 in Pennsylvania, 856-793-7429. Have a great weekend, and if you are stopped, Follow my 10 rules. I'll link it into this video and please be well. Talk to you soon.